here. So this happened. New year, new you, new Janina, and new bag. So this is actually the second time that I've done this. And I don't even know how I convinced myself to do it again. Because I remember deliberately telling myself, Janina, you will never, ever, ever get full bangs ever again. Because the first time I had full bangs, I just looked absolutely, completely horrific. But I guess things change and now we're here. So earlier this week, I posted this photo on my Instagram and I got a ton of requests asking for an updated hair care routine. But honestly, not much has really changed, although it looks like it has. But I have learned a lot of new tips and tricks throughout the year that I want to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So I usually start by taking down my bun, or in this case, my ponytail, and kind of just loosening up my hair from the roots. Then I grab my wide tooth comb and start detangling from the ends of my hair to the top. It's a pretty basic tip, but starting from the bottom really helps prevent breakage. I like using a wide tooth comb because it's a lot more gentle on my hair. Now it's time to get in the shower in my bathing suit. Not a lot of people know this, but washing your hair with cold water really helps create shine in your hair and it also reduces frizziness. For shampoo, I am using the Dove Color Care because I did just dye my hair. I like shampooing my hair from the bottom of my scalp to the top because I feel like it helps give my hair a lot more volume. I also almost never shampoo the ends of my hair just because I don't want to strip off my hair of its natural and necessary nutrients. When all the shampoo has been rinsed out, I will wring out my hair in preparation for conditioner or today's hair mask. My current favorite is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth One. Now when it comes to conditioner or masks, I only put that on the middle part or the ends of my hair because it can make my scalp a little bit oilier. Then I'll just rinse that all out making sure my hair is clean and head out of the shower. I try to steer clear of hot blow drying my hair just so that I don't have to deal with extra heat damage. So I let my hair air dry while I do my makeup. Then when my hair is only a little bit damp, I will use this Kukui oil by Organics. I've actually never tried a spray oil before so I was pretty stoked to try this out. This oil has anti-frizz and hydrating ingredients. Now that my hair is a lot silkier, it will be a good time to brush it. I use a wooden brush because wood helps remove static, which helps remove frizziness. After my tangles are out, I will take them and straighten them with my candy blush straightener. And now that I look completely ridiculous, I will continue on with that trend and put my bangs in a roller. Because I don't want to reduce the volume in my hair, I will only be straightening the top section. Candy Blush is one of my favorite online stores to get hot tools from because they have pretty good quality and they're affordable. I will take a wild guess and say that I'm using the one and a half inch one. Can I just say I'm so happy they send gloves with their tools? Now it's time to get curling. I would say I get a sort of medium sized section and just wrap that around my curling wand. Honestly, it really depends on what kind of curl I'm going for that day, but the duration of how long I leave the hair on the curler can range from about like what, five seconds to 30. I always wrap my hair away from my face and towards the middle section as well to frame my face. I also let the curls cool in my hand because it makes them last a lot longer. And when I'm done curling, I use the Tresemme Superior Hold with Touchable Feel Hairspray. To distribute the product evenly, I kind of squeeze the hair in my hands. This also helps loosen up the curls. It's also time to take down my funky roller. Another tip for frizzy hair is to take a toothbrush and some hairspray to tame the little hairs that are sticking out. And we're done! So 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you guys want to be a part of the hashtag VelaFam, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I post a new video. And in case you guys were wondering, I had my hair done at the Asda Salon in Eastwood. So I will leave their links down below as well as the name of my hairdresser just in case you guys want to try out this hairstyle. Anyway, I will see you guys later and may the wings of your eyeliner always be even. Bye!